I talked about ultrasound guided FNA and core biopsy of the head and neck and breasts uh, uh, as done by pathologists. Some of the main messages are that if you do it by ultrasound, the pathologist does it by ultrasound, it's a lot more accurate. Especially, it's even more accurate than when the radiologists do it because we can examine the slides immediately. And we're able to do both breast, head and neck, and thyroid very, very accurately. It could be a one-stop shop where patients stop by and get a biopsy. We could give a preliminary diagnosis usually five minutes after the procedure and the final diagnosis the next day. I uh, enjoy very much uh, doing fine needle aspirate. And um, uh, in today's lecture, I, I learned how you can apply ultrasound. I think uh, this is an important uh, point for the cytopathologist to learn how to do ultrasound guided fine needle aspirate, not only uh, palpable, unpalpable masses, uh, uh, the simple fine needle aspirate that we do. And what I learned, I think, I think here is that the new concept about doing business. And not everywhere you can set up by every pathology to do the uh, ultrasound guided and needles, those things, but uh, that do bring a concept that pathology using their professional knowledge uh, do help the radiologists if that's the way of the setting and uh, to serve the patients better. We hope it becomes popular that more pathologists learn how to do that and to start, start setting up FNA shops or FNA clinics throughout the country. This is important because it's a good way of reducing medical costs and increasing quality. It also brings out the pathologist to the patients where the diagnosis of cancer are actually made so they can be readily treated and diagnosed uh, you know, uh, by this uh, method. The two main methods that the patient should walk out with today is that pathologists can accurately do ultrasound guided FNA and core biopsy, that's number one. And number two, this is a great way to reduce the, uh, uh, the cost of medicine and increase the quality of medicine.